Yo, what's good, YouTube? Gamer Zero coming at you with my GTA Online progression series from ditches to riches. And this event week is actually pretty solid. If you're into this type of stuff, we have auto shop bonuses, but it's kind of a nerf version of auto shop bonuses. Normally, they usually put in like double money on auto shop contracts, but this time around, they pretty much did everything else except the auto shop contracts, which does kind of suck. You know, it does kind of suck, but it is what it is. You know, an event week is an event week and we are going to be taking advantage of some of the opportunities that they have available for us this week. I hope you all enjoy and let's get right into it, yo. So during this event week, we have 40% off of all auto shops and auto shop modifications and upgrades. I've already went through buying an auto shop and explaining the auto shop, but we are gonna definitely take some advantage and deck out our auto shop, make it look nice, you know. We're also gonna end up buying the staff, which I did talk about previously in a different episode. And we are gonna buy the extra car lift because that's gonna just help us make money like faster with the mechanics or the staff and also we're going to be able to make more money with both of the car lifts and i highly recommend that if you don't own a auto shop buy one this week because it is one of the best properties in the game for making quick cash and quick money so definitely take advantage of that this week if you have not already auto shop services are also on double everything this week made some pretty good money doing this uh, i highly recommend players to take advantage of doing your auto shop services and also if you do three of these auto shop services this week you'll get the ls customs coveralls and a hundred thousand dollars because it is part of the weekly challenge so it's a pretty good way to just generate income this week and i already said it but i'll say it again i highly recommend everyone take advantage Exotic exports are also on double everything this week. As you know, the blue dot pops up on the map. Go to it, grab the car, take it to the docks, make some quick cash. And about 40000 for each one. It's a pretty solid way to make some money this week. Especially if you incorporate it with all the other bonuses that we have available. You'll be making some easy money this week doing all these auto shop bonuses. And I hope you took advantage because I'm definitely taking advantage of all of this. We're also going to take advantage of winning the prize ride this week. This week is the Calico GTF, one of the fastest LS tuner DLC cars when it comes to racing in the LS car meet series. Now, the qualifications for winning this car is you had to place first place in an LS car meet series race for three days in a row. And that can be kind of difficult, but that's why we're going to take advantage of the drag race series. I've talked about how to enter these series before in a different episode, but I'll just go over it quickly right now. You just pull up your phone, go to the quick join tab, and then there'll be like a series mode tab and you can go there and pick whatever series you want. In particular, this time we did the drag race series. Reason being is because these races are super easy. They do qualify you for the prize rides if you wanted to do it that way. They don't pay too well or anything like that even though they're on double everything they really don't pay that great but it's just that these races are really easy you know what i mean you can get first place like if you have a good car and you know how to shift gears and you know what you're doing you're going to be able to get first place like almost every single time remember that dominator asp we won a while back ago this thing came through super clutch during this drag race series in my opinion, not only is this one of the best tuner class cars when it comes to the LS Car Meet Drag Race series, but it's also one of the best muscle class cars when it comes to these races. So this is one reason why we wanted it, not only because this is a muscle car, but because we can also use it in other events. And we, we could do like, you know, the street races and the pursuit races, but this thing is a beast on the strip. I could definitely tell you all that. The ease and the fun factor of these races when it comes to qualifying for 
prize rides is definitely in the upper echelon when it comes to activities you can do for prize rides. Like it literally only took like a minute or two every day to do one of these races. Super duper easy, super duper quick, super duper fun. Definitely check out the drag race series if you're having trouble doing the objectives for the prize rides. And as you know, we got the text message. So we're gonna head over to the car meet and we're gonna claim our prize. Definitely very good car this week. If you didn't get it, I feel sorry for you, but I had to get it. Even though this is more of a muscle car profile on this character, this is one of the best LS tuner DLC cars. So I definitely had to scoop it up. And it's how I made her look, y'all. Hope y'all enjoy. So we got a new DLC coming to GTA Online. It's going to be a Bounty Hunter DLC. And we're also going to have some missions with Vincent as well, I believe. But this is going to be definitely a cool opportunity we're going to check out. Uh, this is going to be new tools, new props in these creator modes. There's going to be like a new whole Bounty Hunter business. There's going to be increased payouts with taxi work, open wheel races, operation paper trail, and other activities in the game. And of course, you know, there's always new cars and things like that coming. They're going to do a bunch of content creator up upgrades. So if you like make missions and stuff like that, you're going to be able to do more with that. So definitely going to be a cool DLC to check out. And we are going to be checking it out with this character whenever that decides to come out. But definitely keep your eye on the Rockstar Newswire because eventually they'll release a post saying exactly when the DLC is going to come out and all the types of stuff you're going to be able to do with it. And they'll, you know, they'll also come out with a trailer and you guys can check that out whenever they put that out. I will be putting a link in my community tab whenever all that stuff decides to drop, whenever Rockstar, Rockstar decides to do all that i'll be linking all that good stuff up in my community tab so keep an eye also on my community tab if you're not keeping an eye on the newswire because uh you know your boy got your back i'm hyped for the new dlc always nice when rockstar puts out a dlc that people have asked for in the past you already know i like bounty hunting in red dead online that's one of my favorite things to do in red dead online and I really hope that is similar where they have like, you know, high target bounties or even like, you know, the infamous bounties that they have in Red Dead Online, legendary bounties, or I don't know what they're going to be called if they decide to put those in this game. I really hope that it's reminiscent of Red Dead Online's bounty business because Red Dead Online's bounties are one of the funnest and most rewarding things you can do in that game. So if they brought something like that to GTA Online and if it pays pretty well as well, that's definitely going to be something I'm going to be checking out and that I'm looking forward to. And they said there's going to be some missions with Vincent. It's probably going to be like some contact missions, you know, like uh, probably like an Operation Paper Trail type of thing, but with Vincent or, you know, like maybe a, a Mercenaries type thing. But with Vincent, you know, that would be cool. You know, uh, it's some extra missions that we can do. Not too bad. You know what I mean? I don't think it's going to be anything too significant because Vincent already has the Cluck and Bell raid. But it's always good to see your boy, Officer Effenberger, up in the house. And just, you know, working with him is always a good time. But yeah, other than that, you know, let's see what other updates and what other things that Rockstar decides to tell us uh, coming up soon with all of the new DLC information and things like that. Now we're going to talk about the From Ditches to Riches character and things like that. So right now, I believe he has about $17 million. What ended up happening was, you know, I didn't grind out the terabyte week as like how I wanted because I had a lot of stuff going on. And I also didn't grind this event week too much either because I just had a lot of stuff going on out of town with family and I've been having to deal with that. 
but we did do a little bit of grinding. We got some money. We got 17 mil. Going to keep grinding to get money for when the new DLC drops. And of course, you know, whenever a new event week drops, we'll also take advantage of any opportunities that they have available for us in that manner. But I got a lot of things going on. I've been going back and forth between, you know, my house and going out of town for the last couple weeks or week or whatever. And it's just been real hectic. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put out the next episode like in a timely manner, but I'll try my best. You know what I mean? I was surprised that I was even able to edit this episode and get it out whenever it comes out. But I got to head up out of here, y'all. Got a lot going on, but just bear with me. I'm trying my best, y'all. This is Gamer Zero, and I'm signing out. And for everyone out there, I hope y'all enjoy. Y'all take care. Be safe out there. And you know, before I head up out of here, I got to do the usual, and I got to hit y'all up with that respect peace out and deuces y'all